to go back to the, these class, what we now yes. call the classic sessions, you know, yes. the madcap session. The madcap uh, session. Yes. yes. And at the time, it was probably completely low key. I mean, so, I mean, there were no, there's no hair and makeup. There's no stylist. There's no big plans of thought having it. It's more like I'll come over. The stripes on the floor are interesting, and uh, we we'll take pictures for the album cover. And it happens to be Iggy's running around naked. Why not stick her in the picture? There's a bit of coal. She puts the coal on him. He grabs Dougie's coat. I mean, you can see Sid's very bohemian at this point in time. You can see the way, the way you look at the trousers, you know. And he's just rolled out of bed. Yeah, there's none of this high-powered modern stuff. I mean, I do sessions now at times, and it could be 50, 60 rolls, and it's all kind of... I've got three assistants, people sh videoing and shooting what I'm shooting, and all. This was the most basic, but it all goes to show, you know, you've got the right sensibilities in the room, you don't really need, you don't need that much. And sometimes it's nice if I can wangle it so I can work like that today, but more often than not it's a whole performance. Well, the thing is that um, people invest meaning in pictures, don't they? I mean, you, yes. you look into this, yes. these pictures of this madcap laugh session, and they kind of, I mean, we're seeing madcap, Yes. We're kind of investing in it. We're kind of thinking there's so much going on here. We're, you know, what, it, what is he thinking about? What, what's going on in the room? Why is... Well, he hasn't been up very long. Yeah. See, that's one thing to remember. He's been, he hasn't been awake all that long. And we barge in. And, uh, and, and you can, again, if you look in, if you see the book, there are pictures in there of him sitting on his bed in his underpants. So the very first pictures I took, he's actually wearing his underpants. So he has literally rolled out of bed to answer the door. And Iggy, you know, Iggy's quite comfortable strolling around with nothing on. Because I have some very nice pictures of her of him in, together in the street, like that shot over there. And uh, there's a little series of shots of, of him and her together there. She, you know, she was just a gift from the heavens, I suppose, really, because she does bring another, in retrospect, she brings a really quite a fertile element to... Uh, to the pictures and everybody always wants to know who she is and my answer is I don't know. I well, can't remember. I know she was around for a little while. Well, and Dougie, no, Dougie obviously you know, knew more about her, but I think he'll tell you she wasn't around that long. But, it, and, but it's a, there's a mystery quality because you never see her face in those pictures they use no. in the album. No, you don't. Although no. you, you do see it in a number of other ones I've got on the street, actually. Not you. Uh, and some of the pictures have never been published. You'll, you'll see her face much more clearly. But carefully chosen on the album, there's this mystery naked woman yes. in the corner. Yes. Sid's on the floor. He's looking, he's looking mysterious and strange and, yes. and maybe a little crazy. You're not a sure. A little psychedelicized, you might say, yes. So, yes, and at this stage of the game, we imbue all kinds of men, really, it's up for grabs. But we went there, we put a couple of bits of clothing on him, slapped a bit of coal and took some pictures. Didn't, probably the whole thing, you know, hour and a half, couple of hours at the most, including, you know, the cup of tea or something. So, uh, not a wild day, nothing that dramatic going on, other than the fact that Iggy will not have put a clobber on. Um, so, but again, that was a bit the times. It wasn't quite so unusual, and we were all. I think we all, without using the term, I think we all saw ourselves as kind of cultural revolutionaries. You know, living the lifestyle. That was really the most important thing, as I recall, for the people. I was most important was to live the lifestyle. Was if you didn't want to get up till noon or one, that was very important. Not to get a job. Not to be ambitious, to really to be exploring your inner landscape. This was really the philosophy of the time. I mean, when you look back, who were our heroes? Timothy Leary, um, William Burroughs, Alistair Crowley. I mean, a very dodgy bunch of characters. We were all deeply immersed in when you think about it. Uh, but these were the people that we, and even, you know, the mad poets of old, Rimbaud and Baudelaire and... Verlaine, these were a pretty wild bunch. Me, when I see Sid, and I would see a lot of the people in those days, I, I always saw them as being like mad poets. For me, when I picked up a camera, I would be back, late, my version, late 19th century Paris, with these characters, Rimbaud, Baudelaire, Verlaine, Gautier, 
Mallarmé. These were the, this was what I was seeing when I look at Sid. Or pictures later of Lou Reed and Eggy and these characters. I was always looking for the mad poet there. And um, Sid in these pictures looks as much like a mad poet as anyone, anyone you could ever think of, you know. So for, I was very, I had a very romantic view of the world and, and I think that was probably shared by a lot of the people that I knew at the time.